Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. I want to show you this video and kind of tell you why cameras are so awesome. I have cameras in my house that work great. And again, there's some pros, there's some cons, obviously money, uh, you have to charge him, a couple things. But ultimately speaking, nowadays with the value that you are getting, it's a great idea. And I'm going to tell you, you don't need more guns. This is the kind of stuff you need, right? I'm not preaching about having 10 pistols. I'm preaching about having nine pistols and a camera. <laughs> All right, maybe 10 pistols and a camera. But this right here, it's a crazy situation. Guys come in, multiple guns. I um, mean, you know, several, two guns, two guys, face cover. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. And you know what? Bless the Lord that as far as I know, no one got hurt. So let's switch the screen here and let's kind of talk about it, right? Before we continue, obviously, subscribe to the channel. Come and check out God is in Control right here. Blessings of Liberty, excuse me, Blessings of Liberty channel where we talk about God, family, fatherhood, and all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Hit that notification bell. Become a patron. All that good stuff. Big shout out. Let me do a big shout out to my patrons because you guys are awesome. My patrons. Woo. Got pumped up about my patrons right there. All right. Back to the video. And here's the thing. We got these two guys. Two guys. Check them out. You know, one guy has a backpack, obviously, to put stuff in there. Probably this guy back here has a backpack as well. And again, you know, when you see them, they got the faces covered. This guy's covering his face. I like the fact that it's lighting outside right here. And the lighting is great because obviously it, it allows you to uh, see outside, obviously, but also allows you to, you know, realize or identify people that are outside with your camera. Some of those cameras do good at night vision, but obviously with lights is a little bit better. So the guy comes here and knocks. And he's like covering his face like they have an idea to me. It feels like they know that there's cameras or something. So he knocks right here. Let me go back from the beginning. Okay, you see here. He knocks. And bam, you see that right there? He has a revolver right there. So again, he pulls out a revolver. He knocks. I don't know what he's doing with his revolver. But he's looking at it, and then this guy has uh, like a tire iron right there, right? So he's holding it on his hand. This guy has the revolver. Pretty scary. Pretty scary. Guy's holding the revolver in his hand. He knocks again. Now, in, in this case here, here's the crazy thing about this. I mean, it could go either way in here. If the guy, somebody opens the door. Ben, he has a gun. He potentially, he's going to put a gun to the guy's face, obviously. And it's going to force and sell inside the house. And again, you know, take whatever they're going to take. Do whatever they're going to do. Or if no one is in the house because nobody answered, they could potentially break down the door. This is the, the I guess in a way to me, it's kind of like the level of the criminals. The criminals that don't care that they're just going to bang and come in are, are really dangerous. And to me... In this case, this guy is ready. I mean, they have he has his gun in his hand. So he's waiting for somebody to open the door to make entry. He's prepared for it, right? Let's. So they're just looking around, waiting. Put a little bit of volume here. Yo! Yo! Yo, Kevin! Come on, bro. And the left. Now, here's the interesting thing, right? Here's the interesting thing as, as we do this video. If you notice, the guy mentioned somebody's name right there. He mentioned somebody's name and said, yo, Kevin. And again, nobody opens. So what is that telling you right there? 
Again, that's telling you that could potentially the guy knows or the guy actually knows somebody that is in the inside. So what is that even telling you? That's telling you that this could have potentially be a hit. This could have potentially been a hit. This guy came knocking on the door, now finally looking for Kevin. So obviously they know who Kevin is. They know that Kevin lives there. And again, they're asking for them with a gun. So what are they coming for? They're coming to do a hit. So again, this thing right here, I'm going to tell you, when I saw this video, I was like, there was so much to unpack here. Obviously, the, there's cameras. Obviously, hopefully it was a police investigation because, again, at the beginning, I'm thinking to myself, you know, because I actually didn't see the video all the way to the end when he said Kevin. Uh, so at the beginning, I'm thinking to myself, this is just a couple guys knocking on the door and they're just looking to make entry to steal stuff. But at the end right there, which... Again, I didn't realize that he called the guy's name in the past. When he called his guys, this guy's name in the past, I mean, uh, uh, to, to the door, yo, Kevin, means that he knows the guy. So now this could have been potentially be a hit, which it tells me something that I wanted to address in the past. Be careful who you hang around with. Be careful who you talk to. Be careful who you associate yourself with. Because I'm going to tell you, you associate yourself with trash, this is going to happen to you. This is one of the reasons why I'm very careful who I bring to my house and I'm very careful who I associate myself with. If you find yourself in a business that I've seen this so many times already, if you find yourself dealing with criminals, this may happen to you at one point where they're coming to collect or they're coming to do something bad to you. So here's a, a, a good line of defense. Start hanging around with criminals. you would be pretty okay. So anyways, what do you guys think? Again, scary situation. Appreciate you guys watching. And as always, God is in control.